end of the week here. Got another day off of work. Actually, I kind of worked half day today. Um, instead of a full day, I only had to put in a couple hours, which was good. Um, so doing a bunch of cut, a uh, bunch of running around. Um, I actually replaced my tail light today. Um, I didn't notice it when I got it, but it was cracked and it was getting water inside as you can see and all the condensation and everything. So um, I was looking online, uh, Amazon and all that stuff. They're like 140 bucks and actually Ford was the cheapest. They were $90. So I actually got a Ford replacement, perfect mint Ford tail light. So that's kind of cool. And uh, yeah, so I've just been, I just want to go over, you know, about the, the content and lacking of the content recently. Um, I haven't been feeling well, guys. Um, I've been extremely tired and fatigued. Um, we're waiting on some blood work and stuff. So we'll see. So like I said, um, got to interrupt, sorry. Um, we're just waiting on some blood work. I had to do like my second set of blood work. Um, the first set um, came back showing that I have anemia, which is like low red blood cells and low iron and my hemoglobin and whatever. It's all low. So that's why I'm fatigued. Uh, I have no energy. Um, I, I get nausea and headaches and all this stuff. So I've kind of been battling that. Like when I start something and I start working and then I start feeling like crap and I get really tired easily and stuff like that. So they're waiting on the blood work to come back to see the severity of it. Um, and I might, if it's bad, they might send me to the hospital to get some blood transfusions and things like that. So it's nothing crazy, you know, like obviously it's an issue, you know, it's to do with your health, but I'm like not gonna die from it, it's fixable. I'll just have to, we just have to see where we're at with it, right? So, you know. So that's kind of what's been going on guys so i kind of been focusing on that stuff and you know not really focusing on you know getting the content out which i apologize but you know health before anything right guys so um so anyways with that being said today we're gonna do another small thing to the f-150 um i just picked up a tailgate assist for it right so when we're opening the door you know, you know, most of you guys know you pull the door open and it just falls down. So we're gonna put that in there today and uh, you know, something easy, quick and easy. I'll just kind of give you the guys the rundown, you know, right? Just a little quick video anyways, you know what I mean? So stick around, got some beverages. It's beautiful out there. We're like at 26 today in Barrie. You know what I mean? It's like summer here, it's great. Hey guys so first thing first is we're gonna get this piece installed it's at the bottom one so what we have to do is we have to take this bolt out and then loosen this one up enough to slide it in okay so i got my gear wrench here let's go the right way let's get this guy out right, nice and easy so we'll take this guy out these are pretty pretty easy installs guys so we'll do that and then we have to loosen this guy up so we gotta get this guy back enough to slide this piece in like like yay and then we'll put the other bolt back in and we're not gonna tighten it up quite yet we'll just snug in it like this just in case we're gonna make any adjustments so that's how that goes in guys there you guys so one of the things that i forgot to mention was we're supposed to replace that other bolt this bolt here the top one with the supplied bolt which i'll be all right so this one it comes with an allen key locker one so we're just gonna thread that in there so just Keep in mind that the top one gets replaced because of clearance for the shock, okay? So you can see, stock, not stock. They have some play in it, but we should be good. I'll be able to tighten it up. I just gotta get an Allen key for it. And then we go from to the next step. All right, guys, so next step is we have to remove the cable here. So 
So it's got a little latch. We pop that off. Then we got to remove this nut or the, the this torque bolt here that holds the cable. Um, they did surprisingly with this kit, which I don't know if I mentioned, cost fifty bucks. Um, it uh, comes with the Allen key for it, and it actually works. But so if you need it, you can use it. But I'm gonna get my impact gun out <laughs> and my torx bits because I have them, and uh, we're gonna blast it out a lot quicker than uh, doing it by hand. So we need the down step off. Actually, I'm gonna get a new one of these. Or actually, a three eighths. Oh, one of these will be good. So we'll just uh, there we go. just like that. That's out. And then we have to go over here and get this piece and line it up to the hole like this, facing down. So we'll get this on here like this and then we'll put this in here like this i don't know it's supposed to be as straight down as possible i'm going to need two hands for this but you can see it's supposed to be perfectly straight so i'm going to try to make sure that happens and then we'll come back okay guys so now that those are tightened you can see tightened this is tightened they gave us some sticky stuff to put here um just in case uh, there's any rubbing right we're supposed to put the cable back on as well but we're just gonna wait but so we install we're gonna put on this guy there we go on there and then we'll have to lift the tailgate up i don't know if i'm gonna be able to do this with one or two hands we'll see uh, maybe There we go. It's already working, guys. So let me get the cable back on and then we'll test it out. Hey okay, guys, so I have it installed. Here comes the test right here, right now. Let's let's do it. Oh yeah, very nice. Pretty sweet little setup here, guys. I like it. It's about five, 10 minutes to install it. Pretty quick, not too bad. Um, comes with all the hardware you need. It comes with a couple extra clips for the shocks if you lose them or whatever. Um, comes with the bolts and things like that. So it was, this is the DZ. This one's for the 15 plus F-150s, but they make them for all the pickup trucks. I got this from, from Action Van and Truck World here, or Action Truck or whatever it's called it here in Barrie. Um, they had them in stock. Like I said, they were $53.99 Canadian. So pretty, pretty sweet deal, right? So with that being said, guys, um, this weekend, I'm not sure what's happening. Um, got a lot going on, so I don't know if, what, what I'm going to be recording. Uh, next weekend, I'm out of town on Saturday, so maybe Sunday. Might be, be able to do some uh, video. The weekend after that, we're doing... A guys weekend we're doing atv trip so i think i'm going to record some of that and pop that up there's something totally different than we've been doing um get the atvs out we ran into an issue with mike's uh atv it has to go to the dealer for some warranty work so hopefully they can get that fixed up um before the 28th of april so you know because we paid for cabins up there we paid for the ride and all this stuff so we're supposed to leave the friday on the 28th uh early in the morning and then we're gonna go ripping so we're gonna try to record some of that and get that up for you too as well so you know anyways thanks for watching i hope you guys have a great weekend have some drinks on me or whatever and uh we'll catch you in the next one